All right, so I'm out in Calliope at the moment, which is about uh, five hours north of where I live, up towards Gladstone. So yeah, I'm gonna be painting a pretty fun work. I'm just gonna paint a bunch of cats and dogs uh, on the front of the pet retreat. Yeah, this wall will hopefully put a big smile on the face of uh, people as they come to drop off their, their beloved four-legged friends. So this is the wall here. Uh, I've got a couple of hours of prep, taping it up, getting it all nice and tidy, ready to put the undercoat on. Well, that was a few hours of just doing this taping. It's uh, part of the beginning of the prep work for a mural is taping the underside of the eaves and um, just making sure that things that you don't want paint on are covered. It's bloody awkward climbing the ladder a hundred million times and for whatever reason, every time I'm doing plastic taping, masking, it's just windy. It's like flapping around, a uh, bit of a pain in the butt, but I'm done. Hopefully when I start painting it doesn't all just rip off, which definitely has happened before. Now I'm just priming this wall at the moment. I'm using my cordless spray gun, which is a Graco. It's an absolute beast. So the idea with this thing is you put your acrylic paint into here and it shoots it through the hose and sprays it out like it would come out of a spray can. Voila. And basically I can just lay on quite a bit of paint. So once you've sprayed it on with the spray gun, you get your roller and you push it in, you push it in really thick and that just smooths it out. And I'm gonna come back and do some back rolling. Look at that, beautiful. Oh my goodness, fills in so nicely. This means that every coat of paint that I put on after this is going to stick so well it's going to fill really well and it's just going to look a lot cleaner at the end. The wall's going to be a real treat to paint. Well, the background's done. Some beautiful, vibrant colours on here have been thrown around the Sabo. Uh, that first undercoat took probably like two or three times longer than this colour, which is hilarious, just painting it white. Um, but prep. It's always tougher than what you think it'll be. So tonight, my plan is to come back. I just bought myself a fancy new projector. It's a short throw projector. Um, I often use projectors for marking out the rough outline of things and I'm gonna use it tonight. Get all tech. Tomorrow morning you'll see it all marked up. All right, well, first up on my Tadoggy do list is this big Great Dane here. It's probably the biggest thing on the wall, so I wouldn't mind trying to render it to the point where I kind of get an idea of how much detail I want to put into the rest of the animals. I'm going to start on brushes with this thing and, yeah, just get all those little whiskers and hairs and all the little light shimmers and stuff I'm really going to render in, so I'm looking forward to it. I'm feeling fresh, had a couple of coffees. Let's jump into it. This thing's looking... Friggin' cute, a little kitty cat nestled up against the Great Dane. What a powerful combo these two are. All right, so painting fur has changed for me a lot over the years. I um, I used to try and get really hard edges on everything like this, you know, really fiddly. But now I just render with the can on a sharp angle I just layer heaps in like this but yeah I'm just going through layer, laying in, in a bit of dark not super deliberate just looking at the way the fur so this is the hind leg here the fur sort of will all peel out downwards so obviously it's working with gravity so I'm just basically going through and uh downward motion on an angle just always thinking about which way things hang and hair is like like anything it falls unless it's fluffed up it's a big flipper this is how i'm getting a bit of texture in there so i'm gonna bring grass up through there brown in the side of his face i'll probably bring brush back through here so I can really bring out them whiskers. I want every 
primary thing to draw towards his face here. So Travi's just arrived. He's making some advancements in technology. Look at this thing. Oh. So I think we'll both sleep in there tonight. Very, very cool. I think this is probably the cutest mural that we've ever painted. Flowers, puppies, kittens. <laughs> it's very cheerful. Look at this corgi. Really? Probably the cutest thing I've uh, ever seen painted by Trav. He's jumped on that. We've just been chucking like a few little fun things around. Just a um, ball of wool, little tennis ball hiding over here. Um, we're just trying to make it feel as fun as humanly possible is the aim. So we've just got a little bit to do here um, this evening. So we're going to put a little kitten poking its head out from between these two windows here, which I think is going to be kind of a nice use of the space. Well, I'm all packed up. Just finished the mural. Loving how it's turned out. Uh, so, so joyous, which is exactly what I was hoping it would be. Peeled off this... Uh, tape and stuff that was over the glass windows and got these two cats poking through. I'm loving those little um, interactive elements in this one. It's a hard space to actually work with because there's not a huge amount of actual wall um, to put any details in so we just sort of filled out the background like we did down here. Um, cute little kitten with his ball of wool. These guys I think are probably my favourite. This little section here. Yeah, they nestled together nicely so yeah really happy with that one. That was a fun little wall. We'll see you again soon.